Dream has completed many famous Manhunt plays in his time, such as MLGs, traps, and even game winners. However, today we will focus entirely on every trap Dream has attempted in Manhunt. Let's just get straight into it. The first trap Dream ever executed was at the very beginning of the original Free Hunters Manhunt. This was the full damage triple kill. Compared to Dream's players nowadays, this is relatively simple but highly effective. After Dream began the first chase, he stumbled across a ravine. With little time to think, Dream jumps into a patch of water. The hunters soon follow, as Dream quickly places down his wooden planks. All three hunters were soon killed in the process. This trap didn't have a massive impact on the Manhunt, but it did allow for Dream to gather some essential items for a moment. The next trap Dream attempted was coincidentally in this manhunt also. As Dream enters the nether, he submerges the portal in netherrack. The catch is, Dream formed a path which led directly to the hunters' deaths. Looking back at this, the hunters really should have noticed something was suspicious, but nonetheless. Dream explodes all three hunters to death, which creates massive damage. In terms of Dream, this helped him massively, as he was able to gather blaze rods without any problems. Two manhunts later, Dream executes his next trap as he whips out an end crystal. Before entering the end, Dream decides to get some blood on his hands as he places down an end crystal. Dream soon begins drinking potions to prepare for what's coming. Then the hunters appear as they chase Dream down. But after getting some distance, Dream turns around with his bow in hand. The hunters then enter the room, not realizing the horror on the other side. Dream shoots the bow, which inevitably wipes out all three hunters. With how close the hunters were to the end crystal, it is no wonder they all died. Hell, Dream took six hearts of damage from a decent distance away. This is one deadly trap. Next up is the famous TNT through portal trap. As Dream enters the stronghold, he realizes the hunters have entered the end and set up a trap themselves. However, Dream planned for this exact moment as he counters their trap with his own. You see, in Minecraft, all entities can be sent through an end portal which includes TNT. So Dream places down his TNT, ignites them all, which causes absolute chaos. With how much TNT Dream sent through that portal, there was almost no way the hunters could have survived that. This trap alone was the sole reason Dream won the Free Hunters series. If Dream went headfirst into the portal to 1v3 the Hunters, we most likely would have never seen the 4 Hunters series. Moving on to Dream's impressive fishing rod trap. In the first four Hunters video, Dream enters the nether and instantly begins building directly above the portal. After leaving no trace behind, the Hunters enter the nether confused as to where Dream is located. They soon see him above as they begin towering. Halfway through the long climb, Dream suddenly yoinks Antfrost into the air using a fishing rod. The full damage ends up killing Ant as Dream does the exact same thing to Bad Boy Halo. Funnily enough, it isn't just players you can grab with fishing rods, but items can be used too. This trap didn't have a massive impact on Dream's success in this manhunt, but it definitely made for a funny moment. Almost directly after the previous trap, Dream begins to set up his next, that being the Frostwalker play. After just exiting the nether, Dream heads to a lake in the middle of a desert. Dream then begins building up extremely high. Now, some of you may be questioning why, and trust me, you aren't alone. The hunters all began asking Dream why, and I can recall when I first saw this being extremely confused. But it all makes sense eventually, as Dream jumps down from his tower, causing the hunters to follow him. But suddenly, a layer of ice appears, which directly directly kills two of the hunters. This all happened because Dream was wearing boots with the Frostwalker enchantment. This trap had to be perfect to work, as clearly Dream did just that. Next up is the TNT minecart trap in the Four Hunters rematch. Very early into the manhunt, Dream crafts a TNT minecart as he sets it upon the top of a tree. Eventually, the hunters appear with very little loot to protect themselves. After a few attempts at attacking Dream, a small chase begins, but it is suddenly ended after Dream kills two hunters. You remember the TNT minecart Dream placed in the tree? Well, after he used the shear on the leaf, Dream managed to gain some distance as the TNT minecart began to fall. With little time to react, the TNT exploded in the hunter's face, causing a couple deaths along the way. This was once again a trap that didn't help Dream massively, but it was definitely a treat to see. 
In the same manhunt as the previous trap, Dream had just left the nether as he was about to head towards the stronghold. But the hunters suddenly ambush him and reveal something Dream never saw coming. You see, the whole time Dream was in the nether, the hunters have been grinding away, trying to obtain the protection for enchantment. The way the hunters did this was by finding a villager, turning said villager into a librarian using a lectern, and then destroying and placing the lectern down until the librarian offers you protection for. The hunters used this method to eventually get full prop for iron armor. Now, if you didn't know, it is almost literally impossible to kill someone in prop for armor using vanilla PvP. So, Dream used another method to take down the hunters. Dream soon re-enters the nether, towers all the way to the top, and glitches his way to the nether roof using an enderpel. This is a common method to enter the nether roof and has been around for years now. Dream eventually creates a new portal, enters the overworld, and waits for the hunters' arrival. All four of them arrive as they chase Dream down on the nether roof. Then Dream pells away, places the TNT down, then he ignites the TNT, leaving the hunters stranded on the nether roof. This was essentially the only way Dream is going to win this manhunt as he pulled off the impossible. Only one manhunt later, Dream managed to execute his next trap. Whilst being chased by George and Sapnap, Dream was being pressured hard, so he had to think of a plan. Dream realized the cobweb and TNT he had could be used as a trap, so he attempts it. Here is how it went. Dream suddenly turns around, placing the cobweb in the hunter's direct path. With both George and Sapnap being surrounded by cobweb, Dream places down several TNT, which explodes, killing the hunters and even almost Dream in the process. This trap was relatively simple, but it most certainly got Dream out of a sticky situation. Shortly after this, Dream enters the stronghold and discovers the hunters have trapped the M portal room. So Dream begins to set up his next trap to give himself an advantage going into the next fight. Dream gets hard to work, collecting a lot of iron, which he then turns into minecarts. You see, there is a mechanic in Minecraft where you can quite literally be squished to death. So Dream places down his minecarts on one single rail. Now with Dream's minecarts ready, any player who falls on them will be killed in seconds. Eventually. George finds Dream seemingly AFK, so he goes for the kill. However, Dream was most certainly not AFK, as he places a block, causing George to fall into the trap, killing him instantly. You see, this worked because a ladder was placed directly in front of Dream. If you attempt to place a block on a ladder, it will be placed one block ahead. This is how Dream managed to catch George in the minecart trap. The next trap was played out in the Four Hunters finale rematch at the very end. After Dream attempts to enter the end, it turns out the Hunters had mushroomed the portal. The Hunters done this so Dream could not enter the end, as the portal was completely destroyed. So Dream decides to get some revenge, as he begins setting up the sand trap. This is a classic and well-known trap in the Minecraft community, as it is simple to set up and highly effective. This is done by creating a 5x5 five five hole, digging really far down, and then placing crafting tables at the very bottom. The crafting tables are used to assure the hunters can't water MLG. Then Dream heads to the top and begins placing down signs. Dream then layers the top with sand to make it look natural. Essentially, the signs are all connected to one sign, and if that sign is broken, the rest will be destroyed too. And once the signs are destroyed, the sand will go with it. And then the hunters finally arrive, as Dream executes the trap, killing three out of the four hunters. This will always be an iconic trap in my opinion. Now, we enter the Five Hunters era as Dream is about to attempt his next trap. This time, Dream was about to exit the nether, but the hunters suddenly ambush Dream. With little options left, Dream is forced to run directly away from the portal. Little did the hunters know, this was all a part of Dream's plan. Eventually, Dream pales back to the portal and enters the overworld relatively unharmed. With the hunters soon approaching, Dream opens the Minecraft menu as he begins putting on an Anthros costume using the skin customization section. Now, as long as Dream is crouched, the hunters will look at Dream and assume he is Antfrost. So, the hunters enter the overworld as Dream begins to walk among the pack. The hunters realize the compass isn't moving, so they assume he is underground. As they begin digging down, Dream sends TNT down their holes. This unsurprisingly kills majority of them, as TNT to the face wouldn't exactly feel nice. The hunters then realize Dream is wearing Antfrost skin, but the damage was already done. We have now reached present day, as Dream executes the moss trap in the Five Hunters finale. After finding a gigantic lava lake underground, Dream begins to craft his nether portal, but before he enters, Dream decides to ruin the hunter's day. This trap is simple to make, as all you need is moss, 
bone meal and a hoe. After hiding the lava below using moss blocks in the deep slate, the hunters appear as they think they have Dream cornered. But Dream quickly turns around as he bone meals the moss, uses a hoe to destroy it, which then causes the hunters to burn to their deaths. This trap could be seen as a meme sort of play, but it actually turned out to be highly effective. There it is, every trap Dream has used in Minecraft Manhunt. Anyways, I hope to see you all next time. Peace.